All right, we have done a lot so far. We've got good authentication. We've, uh, we're able to create um, our users. We're able to create our tasks. Um, but we don't necessarily have really good error messages. And so I want to show today how we can have custom error messages. Let's sort of take a look at what it looks like from our user's point of view right now when using this app. So if we hit hello world, um, we're getting this 401 authorized error with no response message at all, which is not that great. So I guess the status code is good. It lets us know what's going on, but a response message would be nice. So uh, let's create a custom error object that returns both the code and a JSON object for us. Uh, so I'm going to do this inside of utils. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call this app error. And let's go ahead and mod this. All right, app error is simply going to be a struct that impl that implements into error or into response. So uh, start with pub struct app error. Um, it's going to take in a code. So let's make this. Uh, do you need to be public? Um, I don't remember if you need to be public. Uh, we'll we'll find out. Uh, we have a code that is going to be a status code, and we want a uh, we want some kind of message, which we can make this a string. Um, I like to have a a new function essentially, like a constructor for this, to make it a little bit nicer to use. So we're going to impl app error pub function new. Um, we're going to take in the code, which is going to be a status code, and we're going to take in a message, um, which is now my initial thought would be, what if I just put this as a stir? Well, we have some things that may be strings, maybe stirs, maybe I don't want to give ownership for it. Um, it might make it a little bit nicer for us if we just have it uh, impull like, you know, into string so that I could just do it like an into for that. Uh, so let's do a impull into string. So anything that implements this, uh, we accept. Um, and we're doing this mostly because I'm, I'm lazy and I just, I don't want to have to do the into on the other side of this function if I don't really need to. And it also allows me to, to hand in whatever I want as long as it, well, imp implements into string. And um, we're going to return a new self. Okay, so self. All right, for code, well, that's just the status code. That's easy enough. For the message, we just want message dot into. And we're good to go. Okay, so we can create the new app errors here. But we can't really use this yet because the app errors aren't usable until we can return it as a response. And um, Axum gives us a, a trait that we can use uh, called into response. So we want into response for app error. We'll implement the missing members. Okay, into response takes in itself uh, and returns this Axum response response. Okay, great. Now, if we want to return a status code and like a JSON response, we're gonna return a tuple. So the tuple will look like this and have two things. Well, the first thing is gonna be the status code. So that's gonna be the self.code. And the second thing is gonna be uh, whatever we want. It could be just a string or it could be JSON. So I'm gonna do JSON uh, and uh, self message. Well, but self that message is just a string. So that's not really JSON. So let's create a really quick struct that's going to uh, derive serialize. Uh, so we're going to have a struct. Um, this is like response message. Uh, we'll have a message and um, this will be a string. Oh, and we need to derive uh, serialize. We don't really need deserialize for this one. 
Okay, so you are going to be a response message. Message is self dot message. Okay, now it's yelling at us saying, hey, it expected this response thing. Uh, at the end of the tuple here, we can do into response, and that converts the tuple into the appropriate response. And now we have, uh, well, we have a working, uh, we have a working app error. So let's go, uh, let's go see if we can use this. I'm going to go into the guard so we can use this hello world again and see an actual proper error. Uh, okay, so to begin with, okay, so we have our async guard, you return this result. All right, so right off the bat, we're returning the status code here, I want to return an app error. Uh, if we do this, now we're getting problems. Okay, so okay, or uh, this instead of a bad request, I'm going to change this into an okay or else, uh, which allows me to then create that struct if and only if we really need it. So this takes in a closure. We're going to do a app error new. I uh, want the status code. So let's do status code. This is an internal server. Um, oh, this is missing token. So this is going to be a bad request. Uh, and the message is going to be missing token, missing bearer token. Okay, next up, you. So, okay, or else, uh, I can just cut you out. Uh, closure, we'll have an app error, new, paste you back in. Um, our message here, so we, um, uh, this is just internal server error. I wouldn't necessarily want to tell the front end exactly what's going on with this. Uh, so we're just going to obfuscate it and say, hey, um, something went wrong. We, uh, we, we, don't, we don't know what it is. Um, okay. Then a uh, user. Uh, okay, so the map error. So this is a result. We need a map error. Now we have this error here. So I'm going to take our internal server error. We're going to do an app error, new, paste that back in. Now for this message, I could do an error dot to string, which will turn into a string and then pass that in. But um, this is, again, an internal message directly from the database. I don't know if I really want to send this to the front end for our users to see. Uh, perhaps during debugging, that might be helpful. But uh, in, in reality, we probably want to obfuscate what the error message is and just say internal server error. Maybe this could also be an error that's good to display to a user. So maybe it's something like, oops, something went wrong. Please try again later. Uh, let's return. Okay, so um, this is returning a error. So we want to return an app error here. So app error, new status code. So this is unauthorized. So this is we couldn't find the user because they had previously logged out. So we'll just say um, uh, user is like, you're, you're not authorized. You are not authorized. Uh, please log in or create account. Okay. Uh, and that is, I still see, okay, you is valid, we have a Oh, is valid. Okay, so we need to go over to is valid, which is uh, this. Okay, so instead of returning the status code, we're now going to return an app error. All right, we have to fix you. So decode. Okay, so here's our map error. So we take in the error, we match what the kind of error is. Uh, you have status code unauthorized, we cut you out, we're going to do an app error, new unauthorized. And then this is, this is that the, um, let's see, the, 
your signature was expired. So uh, your session has expired. Please uh, log in again. Now this one internal server error is just something went wrong. So we return an app error, new uh, something went went wrong. Please try again. Okay, I've got no errors, uh, no warnings. We can come back to hello world. And if I hit this instead of the 401 unauthorized, we get a 401 unauthorized and a JSON error message uh, with a, a nice message for us to sort of show off to our users to let them know. And this is a way that we can now, well, display good things to our users, but also we can now pepper all of the, that custom error all throughout our code and then properly question mark all the way up into the handlers. And it makes things a lot nicer. So we don't have to say, oh, this thing understands what a status code is. It really just doesn't care about that. It's you know just sending something out. Um, and uh, you can customize that custom error to be however, whatever works with you know your thought process and your apps, that's where the customization would go. And it would be in charge of knowing how to respond out to the end user at the end. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.